three, two, one. Come on, give me a air bubble. Wow. I don't think I get it closer than that. All right, so let's quit. So I'm gonna make a full mount for this and I'm gonna have it attached to a battery pack as well. But um, as you can see, RetroPie playing just fine, all the systems. All right, here we go. It's a pretty easy install. There's only one way to line it where the HDMI is still lined up perfectly. Put the little HDMI adapter on there. That clips right in. So now we have our screen set up. Now we just need a controller. You do need to edit your config.txt file on your RetroPie image. Otherwise, if you boot it up as is, it'll look like this. You'll just get white lines. So you're going to have to follow the next step in order to see your image on this 5-inch screen. You should see a text document in the description below. Inside, you're going to have this information here. But you want to go ahead and download that file and copy it over. Go ahead and remove your micro SD card from your Pi and put it into your computer. It should, it should come up as a new drive and you should see it here. Go ahead and you want to go to the config.txt. Go ahead and open with. WordPad is the better one to open it with because it is, you know, formatted really nicely. And all you want to do is do a little down down and enter in all that information into your config file that I've copied in the text. Once you're done there, make sure to save. Are you sure? Yes close out and now we're going to remove it from our computer and put it back into our raspberry pi all right the moment of truth oh yeah Oh no! This is going to require more foam. Here we go. Alright. It's alive, people. Let me switch over to manual focus here. It does have the touchscreen still on it, but uh, we don't need that. So one gamepad detected. Game, sir. Up, down, left, right. Start, select, A, B, X, Y. I missed one of the, the triggers, but that's okay. We're not even going to really be using it. So here we are in RetroPie. The one thing is this does not have a speaker. So maybe you want to do like a wireless speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, something like that. So I do have this little Amazon Basics Bluetooth speaker bar. I'm obviously not gonna tote that thing around, but at the same time, the screen is actually pretty nice. Audio, 3.5. This is just for the initial setup. I'm actually going to build a portable version of this. For sound on the portable, I'm going to go ahead and use headphones just because that makes the most sense. If you're going around town, you just put on a pair of headphones. So we've got our sound set up now. All right, we've got sound out of the speaker. No hum, which is nice. Sonic CD, great game. I will be building a whole portable for this, but for the time being, this will have to do. I mean, this performance is really good. 
Oh, we need to suck some of this. <laughs> Come on, get on the elevator, Sonic. This is Disobedient Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Right? So we have that now. And then this is going to open up. Now let's go back into the controller here. Alright, so this works now. Let's go ahead and pause. And basically the whole idea of this build is I'm going to finish the enclosure, enclosure for this and get an external battery. I have a really simple design to get it to fit right in here. So it's just going to go ahead and place itself there. Okay, so tighten that up. And uh, we're eventually going to make this work. There should be something similar to this. Look at that secret. What you knew? What you know about that? Oh shoot! I'm about to die. Three, two, one. Come on, give me a air bubble. Wow. I don't think I gotta get closer than that. All right, so let's quit. So I'm gonna make a full mount for this and I'm gonna have it attached to a battery pack as well. But um, as you can see, RetroPie playing just fine, all the systems. And now we have a portable, uh, trust me, I'll get rid of the power here. I'm gonna hook it up to a battery power and this will be headphones, HDMI, and then this controller cord. I could use the Bluetooth version of this controller and totally get away from that. Or I could use this wired controller and now I could build this because this comes with this clamp for $17 I get the clamp and the controller. So you can build this thing all day if you already have a Pi for around 50 bucks or less. 50 bucks right here. If you get the battery really cheap, $50. So the whole point of this was to build one of the cheapest retro gaming portable, portable Raspberry Pi or Pi Boy or any of the other names these come as. But you know, you want to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, it's like you're playing the actual thing. 1942, for example. Look at that. Awesome. This controller is not really loud either. You have analog sticks, so if you want to play anything else that requires analog sticks, PlayStation, Dreamcast. died already. Look at that, great graphics, really nice stuff. I'm gonna clean this up, this is just my first attempt. I'm still waiting on the external battery and then I'm gonna mount this all up so it's one unit. And uh, But like I said, around 50 bucks, not too bad. Let me know what you think, comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Or maybe you won't, maybe I'll just play this all day.